Hello, how are you today? I'm hoping that you are doing fine because I will show you the new warbone status from armor and weapon and spoiler alert is not so good in my opinion we start with the X prototype 3 it's a medium armor and it's provide 95% resistance to arc damage I don't know how I am supposed to feel about this good that my team don't kill me anymore or bad that I let out a really good status effect from the outer armor like max grenades or steams or 30% more stealth the second armor is the X prototype 60 is the same story like X prototype 3 but different looking The last armor is a light armor with the same status effect, so yeah, I don't know what to say. I may add that in this order you will unlock the armor. Let's move to the weapon. The first is, is LAS 16 Sickle with only 55 damage. Yeah, I suppose this weapon it will be forgotten too, like the laser weapon we have from the first warbone. What was the name? The next weapon is Punisher Plasma, also a disappointment, with only 100 damage. It's supposed to fire some bouncing balls and I believe the balls have some AOE, not impressed. The next is Arc 12 Blitzer, with 250 damage and a proper laser I think. This will be my choice from this warbone and I think from armor stats this will be a game changer but we'll see about that. And for the last weapon LAS 7 dagger with a 150 damage I think it's okay for a pistol but let's hope it's not a male weapon judge from the weapon name. I might add in this order you will unlock those weapons. Worth mention the G23 stun grenade with zero damage. And the best thing from this warbone, in my opinion, is the booster. Localization confusion, who will boost the time between enemy encounters. I think this will be a must in any mission with this last update, and I mean spawn more enemy on the battlefield. In the end, I think the laser weapon are a bit weak but we will see this on the battlefield keep spreading the democracy and thanks you for watching i'll see you next time bye